Good morning, my brothers and sisters, again to our daily morning devotion. So today, as we continue to start again our day with the Word of God, studying the Word of God, and with a prayer, let us continue to dwell in His glorious presence because I believe by faith na hindi aksidente muli na nandito tayo dahil alam ko mayroong magandang plano ang Panginoon sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. So before we start, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O oh God. Today, as we open our hearts, our minds spiritually, Empower us with your Holy Spirit so that we'll be able to understand your word that gives us hope, life, peace, strength, and direction every day of our lives. We commit unto you, Lord God, our devotion, and most especially, I commit to you, my brothers and sisters who are here today as we study your word, Continue to bless them every AS and aspect of their lives, including their own families. So today, Father, we believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things over our lives for your greater glory and honor. We thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy and grace that sustain us every day. And to you alone we give our highest praises, honor, and thanksgiving. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. So, mga kapatid, kumusta naman ang ating uh, nakaraang uh, pag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon? So, for the past few weeks, napag-aralan po natin yung uh, purpose-driven life, which is, uh, alam ko na marami tayong natutunan, na-encourage tayo, na-inspired, at ngayon, uh, handa ang ating puso, ang ating buhay, para isa buhay natin kung ano yung natutunan natin. So, sabi nga, uh, learning without application is useless. So, kailangan din natin na uh, tulungan natin ang ating sarili na magkaroon tayo ng initiative to do what God wants us to do. So, our ultimate uh, purpose here on earth is to worship and glorify God and also to be uh, an ambassador of Christ in our lives. So, hindi lang po tayo a recipient of His grace, but we will also be a minister of His gospel and to serve God and to serve others and to bring more souls into the kingdom of God. So, ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon is all about prayer. So, kinuha ko po ang aking uh, scripture reading for today ay matatagpuan sa Book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. At sinabi dito, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which ex exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So, ito po ay sinulat ni Apostle Paul sa mga taga Filipos. At ganun din po ngayon, ito pa rin ay applicable ang principle ng uh, Sinulat ni Paul na ito ay applicable pa rin sa atin ngayon na bilang isang mananampalataya, kailang-kailangan din natin na magkaroon din tayo ng uh, intimate relationship with God and that is true prayer. So, ang title po ng ating uh, pag-aralan ngayon is The Purpose of Prayer. Ano nga ba layunin ng panalangin sa ating paginoan? So, anxious for nothing. Diba sinabi, na, sinabi do, don't worry about anything. Don't be anxious about anything. So, dito sinabi na, if we really have that 
we should not worry or we should not be anxious. Ibig sabihin po yun ay kailangan natin yung buong tiwala natin sa Panginoon at instead of worrying, instead of our fears or worries, let us ready, let us uh, replace it with a prayer. Kasi ano naman yung magagawa ng uh, worries pag nag-worry ka? Ano man yung naitutulog pag ikaw ay nandoon yung uh, palagi kang nangangamba sa yung sarili, nagkakaroon ng doubts, worries, anxieties, ito ay hindi nakakatulog pagkos ito ay isang uh, hadlang sa atin para lalo tayong magtiwala sa ating Panginoon. So, dito uh, pinaalalahanan muli tayo ni Apostle Paul sa kanyang sulat dahil alam niya na we as human human nature, nandun lagi yung uh, kabas ating puso, lalong-lalo na pag dumating sa punto na punong-puno tayo ng mga problema, punong-puno ng mga pagsubok sa buhay, akala natin na ang bigat-bigat nating ang ba- bigat-bigat nating ang ating dinadala pero ang gusto ng Panginoon let's continue to put our total trust and confidence alone. So, uh, Again, sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, don't be anxious about anything, don't worry, and don't fear of anything dahil sabi nga niya, pray about everything. Tell God all our needs. So, kinakailangan din natin na maglambing sa ating Panginoong Ama because we know and um, by faith, alam natin na ang Panginoon ay nakikinig alam niya lahat before we ask alam niya na kung ano ang ating pangangailangan but God wants a relationship ito yung intimate relationship natin sa Kanya at isang napakagandang perfect model natin walang iba kundi ang Panginoong Heso Kristo dahil during His earthly ministry here on earth for uh, the span of three years nakita natin kung paano siya makipag-niig sa ating Panginoong Ama. And at the same time, uh, before before He start His ministry and before He start His uh, earthly ministry, He has this uh, old intimate relationship with the Father. So, kinakailangan din natin na uh, we need to emulate, kailangan natin na uh, uh, tularan kung ano yung ehemplo na Uh, binahagi na ng Panginoong Heso Kristo during His earthly ministry here on earth. So, ano nga ba yung purpose ng prayer? Una po, prayer gives us the opportunity to leave our burdens with God. So, ito ay isang opportunity, isang pribilehyo para tayo ay magkaroon ng uh, yung close na intimate relationship natin sa Panginoon ay ito ay sa ating pamagitan ng ating prayer. So, prayer is an open communication natin sa ating Panginoong Ama. So, sinasabi mo siguro, kailangan ko bang i-memorize yung prayer? Siyempre, hindi naman, di po ba? Kailangan din natin na yung prayer natin, it will come really from the... Uh, innermost chamber of our hearts yung, yung talagang ang tinitingnan naman ng ating Panginoon is hindi yung uh, kagandahan yung words na binibitawan mo kundi ano nga ba ang laman ng puso mo is it aligned with the word of God is it aligned with the purpose of God ito ba ay naangkop doon sa plano ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay so marami tayong mga mga prayers siguro sinasabi nyo ang tagal-tagal ko nang pinagpipray hanggang ngayon, hindi pa sinasagot ni Lord. Actually, kapatid, sinasagot ng Panginoon. Tatlo lang naman ang kasagutan na binibigay ng Panginoon, di po ba? Una is, no. Kung hindi yun para sa'yo, hindi yun ibibigay ng Lord. Pangalawa, sinasagot naman ng Lord ng yes. Dahil alam niya, ito ay naayon sa kanyang kalooban at naayon sa kanyang plano and He knows the best for you. Kaya, sinasagot ng Panginoon. Yun. And third, na-answer ng Lord, maybe you will wait. Antayin mo, kapatid, dahil siguro, hindi pa ito yung tamang panahon para matanggap mo yung kasagutan ng iyong panalangin. So, kailangan natin again and again, let's remind ourselves that God always hear our prayers. 
kinakailangan natin ilagay sa ating puso, ating isip, is it aligned with the Word of God? Kaya huwag tayong mawalan ng pag-asa, mawalan ng uh, yung uh, courage na patuloy rin tayo yung strong determination natin na God always answer our prayers. At yung pangalawang, unang pangalawang purpose po is prayer help us to rely and trust God alone. So, paano tayo nagtitiwala sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Is it um, 95% lang? 99%? Ang gusto ng Panginoon is ang kapag nagpipray tayo, ibigay natin yung puong tiwala natin sa ating Panginoon that He is always faithful to fulfill His promises over our lives. Kinakailangan din natin na through our prayers, ang pagtitiwala natin ng Panginoon, nagbibigay ito, nagbibuild up our spiritual muscles, it strengthens our faith, at yung nag-grow tayo spiritually kasi uh, through our prayers, buong-buong tiwala natin sa Panginoon na despite yung uh, pagsubok sa buhay mo kapatid, despite yung kabigatan sa iyong buhay dahil isinurrender mo na yung buhay mo sa Kanya sinurrender mo na yung problema mo sa Kanya, huwag mo na ulit uh, kukunin pa muli sa Panginoon, so once na pinagpray po natin ang isang problem, ang isang situation binigay mo natin sa Panginoon huwag na natin kunin Nagpray ka, naniwala ka, nagtiwala ka sa Panginoon. Just wait for God to work in our lives. At ayong pangatlong purpose ng Panginoon is prayer reveals the glory and authority of God when He answers our prayers. So, dito natin, yung pangatlong purpose ng prayer is God will display His power, His glory, His sovereignty, and His uh, majesty over our lives. Dahil alam natin na ang Panginoon, He knows the best for us. He always answered our prayers. Kaya, kinakailangan natin sa ating uh, pang-araw-araw na buhay, magkaroon tayo ng uh, quality uh, prayer life or kinakailangan natin na sa araw-araw natin Pakiki, baka dito sa mundong ibabaw, kailangan natin yung uh, unang-una po, first in the morning, before we start our work, before our, before start anything na kailangan natin gawin, let us first ask and have that time with God alone. Dahil alam natin na if we seek God first, In our lives, sabi ka sa Matthew 6.33, if we seek God first and all His righteousness, all these things will be added unto us. Kaya ito ay isang pangako ng Panginoon sa ating buhay na kapag inuna natin siya sa ating buhay, lahat ng ating pangailangan, He will provide for us. Because it's only by His grace na nabubuhay lagi tayo araw-araw. And we really need His help, His guidance, His grace, His mercy, and His love every day of our lives. Kaya kinakailangan natin na isa buhay ang lahat ng kanyang mga salita, ang lahat ng kanyang uh, gustong ipagawa niya sa atin. Dahil alam po natin na the Bible, the Holy Bible, is our spiritual direction for us here on earth. Para magapanan po natin yung uh, kalooban at plano ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. So, siguro uh, marami kayong mga experience in the past na whenever na mayroon kayong uh, pinagpipray sa ating Panginoon, di po ba napakasaya po? Iba, iba talaga yung uh, binibigay na inner joy at ang inner peace na binibigay ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. So, ang sinabi nga dito, dito sa, chap, uh, sa verse 7, sabi niya, Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard our hearts and minds as you live in Christ. Jesus. Kapag nandun na yung buong tiwala natin sa ating Panginoong 
Ama, through the power of the Holy Spirit, and through the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, magkakaroon tayo ng kapayapaan na nagmumula sa ating Panginoon. Ito yung kapayapaan na binigay ng Panginoong Heso Kristo nung time na before He, he ascended into heaven, sinabi dun sa John 14.27, sinabi dito, I, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled and afraid. So, dito, binig, binigyan tayo ng greatest assurance na sinabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo na bibigyan tayo ng kapayapaan na hindi natin, mat, hindi natin mahanap dito sa mundong imbabaw at hindi pa ibibigay dito sa mundong imbabaw kundi ang makapagbigay lamang walang iba kundi ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, the moment we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior in our lives, ito yung isang pribilehyo na we will be we, we are being empowered with the Holy Spirit and at the same time receive that inner peace in our lives na kahit marami tayong mga problema, marami tayong mga pagsubok sa buhay, alam natin na kasama natin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating buhay kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng kapayapaan nagkakaroon tayo ng inner joy in our hearts kasi alam natin behind the pains the trials, the sufferings alam natin na kasama natin ang Panginoon and behind the problems there is a blessing so mga kapatid let's continue to have a habit of prayer, make it a lifestyle na ang pananangin ay isang uh, part and parcel of our Christian life dahil alam po natin na uh, having an intimate quality relationship of God is the greatest value that we can have here on earth as it is in heaven because God also delight if we really trust Him If we really put our total confidence in Him, the Lord will also be delightful in us and through us. So, ano nga pa yung application natin sa napag-aralan natin previous na uh, 40-day challenge of the purpose-driven life? Di po ba? We are recipient of God's grace and we also need to share that uh gospel of salvation to others. So, ano yung una nating unang step nating gawin? Walang iba kundi prayer. Manalangin tayo sa Lord, humingi tayo ng knowledge and wisdom kung paano natin maging isang agent of transformation or maging isang uh, ambassador of Christ to share the word of salvation or the gospel of salvation to others who haven't yet heard or received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior in their life. Siguro, kapatid, uh, siguro tinatanong mo na sarilo, paano ko ma-share? So, I want to encourage you, kapatid, na unang-una is prayer. Prayer is very important. Prayer is very vital in our heart, in our lives bilang isang Krisyano. And at the same time, siguro mayro kang gustong uh, uh, mayro kang isang uh, tao na mahal mo sa buhay or kaibigan mo na gusto mong i-share yung gospel of salvation. So, ang gawin mo na ngayon kapatid, continue praying for her or for him and ask God's uh, direction, ask God's uh, power to be with you and as the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you He will give you the courage to speak and share your, the word uh, gospel of salvation and most especially how God has worked in your life ito yung living testimony mo kung paano ka na transform ng Panginoon and this is also a way of sharing the love of God upon your life so Continue and again and again that prayer is uh, very vital, very important in every day of our lives. Uh, 
alam ko na lahat po tayo ay nakakaroon ng mga uh, mga alalahanin sa buhay, mga worry, uh, mga problems, situation, challenges. But rest be assured, kapatid, that God always answers prayers. Just continue to trust God alone. Tell Him all about your problems. Surrender all your burdens unto Him. And let God work in your life and through your lives. So, uh, I hope and pray na may natutunan tayo. And let's continue to have that initiative to have every day of our lives a vital and a quality prayer life with the Lord. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. Maraming salamat po, Ama, sa iyong mga salita na nagbibigay sa amin ng karunungan at kaalaman kung paano kami maging isang tunay na mananampalataya na magkaroon kami ng mas malalim na relasyon sa iyo sa pamagitan ng mga panalangin namin. Patuloy ama na bigyan mo kami ng initiative to have a quality prayer life at magkaroon din po kami ng burden to reach more souls for you, God. Help us, Lord, to have that courage, the knowledge and wisdom as you empowered us with the Holy Spirit because apart from you we are nothing but in your glorious presence we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us I pray for my brothers and sisters especially those who have their own families I pray continue to empower them with your Holy Spirit guide them strengthen their faith in you and continue to provide all their needs as you give them the courage, the boldness to do your will upon their lives. I also pray for all my brothers and sisters who are suffering from different kind of sickness, illness, or any pains and sufferings in their lives. I pray that you will comfort them, you will heal them, embrace them with your love, your mercy, and grace that will sustain them every day of their lives. We thank you, Father, for you are a God who is always there for us. If God is with us, who can be against us? We thank you for all your promises in our lives that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So today, as we surrender everything unto your perfect hands, help us, Lord, to be the person that you want us to become according to your will and plans in our lives. We thank you for what you have done and you are still doing upon our lives. And today, with all our hearts, mind, soul, and spirit, we offer and recommit our lives unto you. We thank you for all your unconditional love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day and to you alone we give our highest praises honor and thanksgiving in the mighty sweet precious holy name of jesus christ we pray amen and amen thank you mga kapatid god bless and have a good day bye god loves you